Good day everyone, let's start our lesson by recalling and describing a cylinder. A cylinder is a solid figure that has two circular bases. It has also curved face. And here is the net of the cylinder. Cylinder's two bases are circles only, unlike pyramid and prism that have different kinds according to its base. Now our lesson focuses on getting the surface area of a cylinder. Now going back to the meaning of surface area, surface area is the sum of all the areas of the faces of a certain solid figure. And, that the, and the sum of the areas measured is the surface area of the cylinder or any solid figure. Now let's have an uh, example here. So this is the cylinder with the measurement of the radius of the circle is 5 cm and the diameter or the height of the cylinder is 10 cm. Again, to find for the surface area of this figure, we need to get the area of each shape. And it is easier for us to visualize and get the area of each shape if we make a net of a cylinder like this. Okay, so this is the radius which is 5 cm and the height of the cylinder is 10 cm. Now first, let's find for the area of the circle, this circle. So we have here, the area of a circle is pi r squared. We substitute the pi which is 3.14 and the radius is 5 cm. You square it, that is 25 square centimeters times 3.14. We have the area of this circle which is 78.5 square centimeters. And since there are two circles in a cylinder with equal measurement, then all we need is just to multiply to 2. We get the total area of these two circles is 157 square centimeters. So let's proceed to this curved face or a rectangle when we draw the net of the cylinder. So it, it is a, this is the curved face but it looks like a rectangle. Remember that the area of a rectangle is length times width. But again, this is a curved face. This side is the height of the cylinder and this side right here which is supposed to be the length of the rectangle is the circumference of this circle, of this circle as well. So if we form a cylinder in this net, this one forms a circle that is equal to the base. Now going back to the circumference of the circle, the formula is 2 pi r. So if the rectangle is length times width, we will multiply the h as the width times the 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the uh, circle here. So the formula for this curved face is 2 pi r h. This 2 pi r is supposed to be the circumference of the circle here. And then h is for the height. So we substitute this is 2 times 3.14 times the radius which is 5 centimeters times the height which is 10 centimeters. Simplify, we get 314 square centimeters. Okay, now let's add all the areas. So we have 314 square centimeters for the curved face and 157 square centimeters for the two circles. We have the surface area of this cylinder is 471 square centimeters. Now what is the formula in getting the surface area of a cylinder? Now let's analyze again and try to figure out the formula for the surface area of a cylinder without getting its net every time we solve for its surface area. So again, since there are two circles, which are equal and the area of a circle is 2 pi r squared, then we can say that those two circles, are, we, uh, the formula is 2 pi r squared. And this one, the curved face, is 2 pi r h. So 2 pi r for this, and this is for the height, so 2 pi r h. So if you're going to combine and find for the surface area of a cylinder, the formula that we're going to use is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. This one is for the two circles and this one is for the curved face. So the dimensions that we need to get for the cylinder is its radius and the height of the cylinder. Let's have more examples. So we have find the surface area of this figure, which is a cylinder. So the height is given, which is 15 centimeters, and the radius is also given, which is 5 centimeters. Following this formula, that we have, we have 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, substitute the given, so we have the pi is 3.14 times 2, and we have the radius is 5 centimeters, square it, plus 2 times 3.14 times the radius is 5 centimeters times the height is 15 centimeters. 
then you perform first what is uh, the exponent so we have here 25 square centimeters times 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 plus we also multiply this part so we have 471 square centimeters so 25 times 6.28 is 157 plus 471 we get the area the surface area of a cylinder which is 628 square centimeters next we have here the height of the cylinder is 10 inches and the diameter of the cylinder is 7 inches now the area is or the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h then we substitute 3.14 the radius is not 7 inches because this is the diameter therefore the radius is 3.5 inches half of the diameter plus 2 times 3.14 times 3.5 inches times 10 inches so be careful of the dimension all we need is the radius and its height then you simplify so 3.5 inches square is 12.25 square inches and it's already uh, multiplied 6.28 for 3.14 times 2 then this one is simplify uh, this part which is 219.8 square inches then 12.5 12.25 times 6.28 is 76.93 plus 219.8 square inches. The surface area of the cylinder is 296.73 square inches. Next, find the surface area of the cylinder for the if the height is 9 feet and the radius is 6 feet. So following the formula, all you need is to substitute. We have 3.14 times 6 feet. Then uh, 6 feet for the radius, height is 9 feet. That's uh, simplify 36 square feet times 6.28 simplify this part also we have 339.12 square feet so this is 36 times 6.28 is 226.08 plus 339.12 the surface area of the cylinder is 565.2 square feet okay now let's apply surface area of cylinder in a word problem so you have the diameter of a cylinder is 4 centimeters its height is twice its diameter. What is its surface area? So we write the formula, which is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now the radius is 2 centimeters since the diameter is 4 centimeters. Okay, and it says here that the height of the, di of the cylinder is twice its diameter. So if the diameter is 4, then you double it, it's 8. So uh, the height of a cylinder is 8 centimeters. Then simplify, we have 6.28 times 4 uh, square centimeters plus 100.48 square centimeters. We have the surface area of the cylinder is 125.6 square centimeters. Again, in applying word problems involving surface area, please analyze properly since there are other problems that the base or bases are not included or needed depending on what is asked. So you can always modify the formula. So that's about the surface area of a cylinder. I hope that you learned something from this video.